Welcome to Xbox Uncut, episode 278, 112 million reasons for loot boxes. This week, I'm with Will. What's going on, Will? Thank you for being on the show, sir. Appreciate you being here. Yes. Welcome to, well, you know, I think I'm going to start a new intro. Welcome to the, the eight-ish, actually nine o'clock show. <laughs> it feels like we've uh, we, we've decided on a new time. <laughs> uh, we also have the wonderful Steph on the show. How are you doing today, Steph? <laughs> I would, uh, no, nobody's coming down on you, sir. Nobody's coming down on you. It's just you know life. Life is uh, it's a, she's uh, she's a cruel mistress. When it comes to time, I was debating somebody the other day. I was like, man, if you could just add like six hours to a day, my day would be so much better. I, I, if I just had six more hours, just, you know, for sleep, and let me have the rest of the 24 to actually do stuff. Yeah, I, I actually only sleep five hours, to be honest. Yeah, I, I feel you, but nah, I'm, I'm like five and I'm done. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I feel you, sir. I feel you. Well, oh. Yeah. Yeah. But what's not strange is watching the UK government... Go after gambling, loot boxes, and games like FIFA. Dude, they're coming down, sir. Coming down hard. So, uh, let's see. What was it? Because they actually did, like, a, a study to see, like, the, the culture on loot boxes and games. And, yeah, it, it doesn't look, look, look good. They're uh, looking to, in the UK, looking to have the government regulate loot boxes under the Gambling Act and banning them from, from being sold to children. Uh, which, I mean, at this point, we all kind of knew that uh, governments around the world are going to start stepping in just because of how awful Fortnite and EA and everybody's been when it comes to putting microtransactions behind every tiny little thing. Um, so, it, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a libertarian myself. I'm not a big, huge fan of government interaction. Like, you know, I like the industry to do itself. Hopefully we can do that in... Yeah. I mean, honestly, you Wait, don't want to... I, I, I screwed up, guys. What's that? <laughs> I got it. Y'all, it never recorded any of y'all's audio. Oh, we didn't <laughs> say anything yet. Yeah. Really, except for the intro. Nothing Nothing compromising. Nothing compromising. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been so terrible about this. I even tried to fix it, but I forgot no to worries. hit y'all's audio button. Well, welcome to the show. Well, <laughs> Steph. Oh, hello. Hello. Yo. I have to edit this down later. See if I could. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we we back. We back again. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. Uh, Hopefully, with the magic of editing, none none of this will look, seem awkward. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> okay, we're okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. But yeah, uh, loot boxes. They're uh, they're going after them, man. In the UK. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, I take it y'all feel this about the same way. All right, what I was going to say is before we had to do everything, uh, you don't want the government involved in anything, honestly, because when they start putting their rules and really what happens is they add their fees. They'll add, they, their prices go up. That's what happens, yeah. honestly. They start charging for extra shit. If they have to regulate something, then they charge, they charge them people. So yeah. the price is going to go up. That's, that's just what happens. So you don't you don't want that you don't want those kind of things. With the minimum minimal amount of uh, regulation on these things. Yeah, yeah. Just get out, get out of get out of everything. Get yeah, out I agree. Of, get out of my... I agree, but like I feel like uh, industry hasn't really like you know that hasn't really um, taken it upon up. themselves yeah to like you know work against stuff like that. Uh, so it almost seems like you know it's a, it's like kind of they kind of got too far out of control. So yeah. there's almost no other recourse like that's to have like 
some sort of intervention, you know, even if it's not the best place to do it, you know, from government side, but it's uh, sad to say, you know, that's, this is the only way we're going to be able to maybe get rid of these practices or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, basically, I mean, you know, I someone's mean, making money. Sometimes you got to make some waves. Have the Hey, the government's going to come in and do something if you don't fix it. We've talked about this a couple months ago, I think, mm-hmm. kind of parroting what we said, but it's, you need to kind of give them a kick in the ass to get them to start looking. Let the I mean, I'm all about letting the industry uh, regulate itself, but sometimes you got to be like, hey, y'all, y'all are fucking up. It's time to time to start looking at this before we have to step in. And yeah, because you know, I think at this point they, yeah, it kind of, it's gotten to the point they do need to step in a little bit, at least get the ball ro- started rolling so that they can. It, yeah. Like just exactly. the fact that. Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, I believe it was a couple of weeks ago, said that they were all going to force uh, them to show the odds on loot boxes from now on. Mm-hmm. Which is great for the big three. I mean, it's awesome, but at the same time, we kind of need to see that happen for PC as well. Like, and yeah. Honestly, most games that come to PC come to console anyway, so it'll kind of filter through either way. But mm-hmm. it would be great to see if Valve or at you know the epic store everybody just came out and said hey this is you know we're not gonna allow these crazy loot boxes without uh explain exactly what you're putting your money into because i don't know about y'all but uh, i've been tempted to buy more gears iron (laughs) if you will and i've been (laughs) going no i don't need this i don't i don't like these uh practices even though it's all cosmetic and it's but it's like those cosmetics are fucking expensive if you actually are paying attention like it's i can't i guess you when i search the gears the cosmetics i, I can't i only see like one or two extra things i don't i don't see it like because the store is a little hard to see go through because it's so much yeah. like, it's like hidden a lot of stuff is hidden and like you have well, to scroll to the, the main like, navigation uh, the cost i know we're talking about gears now but a lot of the costumes are under the you hit left trigger and it's mm-hmm. under the what is it it like on Fortnite, you buy the pass and you get the leveling up. Like you, as you do the uh, missions, you mm-hmm. unlock new cards and some. There's custom outfits and stuff in there. Instead of yeah. like doing custom out like buying straight up custom outfits, you earn them. But I don't want to do the fucking thirty goddamn missions. Like I'm <laughs> not into that. Yeah. Like I, I don't like that way of playing games, personally. I mean, I do that with PUBG because they have like um, or daily Pass missions or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It yeah, is. it kind of like I don't I don't say it forces you, but it, it kind of you have to do some sort of things by a certain deadline. Otherwise, you kind of yeah. wasted your money. Well, at least with this, you're not putting money into it to do it, but it's still mm-hmm. like eh. yeah, it's a time sink. Yeah. Sometimes I won't lie. Sometimes I just want to like buy it, and call it a day. <laughs> well they got uh what, Batista came out recently, so I think. That was free though. That was awesome. Yeah, but he's a Marcus Phoenix good. skin. I was I was surprised that that's what that was and not a his own character slot. You know why? Uh, mm-hmm. Subtle subtle hint, sir. Subtle <laughs> hint. They gave him the role. I, I, I get that, but still it was just like uh eh, I wanted him to be his uh I wanted him to be Marcus. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, loot box stuff. You know, don't be scummy companies, and people don't come after you. <laughs> so that's you know, not much else to say besides that. You know, it's just like, <clears throat> I mean, for for gears, I, I kind of get it because like they're, I think they're offering the multiplayer. All that stuff is going to be like free, right? All the updates for like multiplayer and yeah, it's the same maps as four. I don't know what else they're adding. That maybe they add like a few more maps, right? Like the, the industrial complex and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What other thing they added? Was that like a desert, or was that in four? I, I'm not really sure. But at the end of the day, don't buy it if you don't want it. So yeah. I'd say if you don't yeah, want it, don't buy it. It is definitely all cosmetics. It's not like you're losing out for maps or anything. But yeah, ten dollars for a skin. I'm telling you, because they're a thousand points. A thousand points is ten bucks. And damn. Yeah, a lot of scrap. Yep. It's like, yep. Yeah, because in four you had to like scrap all the cards oh. and try yeah, to build it was them. it was a grind. 
Yeah, it was. I mean, right now though, the only good thing is that every day they give you f like free skins, like it's just if you log in. Mm -hmm. Um, for like the guns, I, I don't know if they give you for the characters. I think that you have to still earn that. But uh, yeah, I didn't really mess with that all that much before. I mean, I like the multiplayer is kind of fun, but like you have to be Kinda. really practicing it. <laughs> yeah, for me it's all right. I mean, I, I'm not like a huge gears multiplayer fan unless it's like horde or. Uh, Escape is pretty fun, which is good. It's just like Escape is very limited right now. I think they add, I think they added one more arena or something like that. But yeah, it's uh, it still feels limited. Like if it's only like it's like four or five. It was it. Let me see. What's it I would say for about? the game being out for about a week now, it's not. Yeah, uh, it's pretty. It's still it's it's a good overall experience. Like, yeah, I actually really like it because it's like a challenge. It's a challenge. It's almost like a challenge map. Yeah. Um, kind of reminds it, me of uh, that prison and Destiny. What's it called? You know the prison that you did you do? It's, like, you mm. know what I'm talking about? The uh, uh, Iron, Iron yeah. Banner? No, not Iron Banner. It's like oh. I forgot what it's called. It's like a prison you go to, and all you do is fight bosses, basically. And then you gotta. It's kind of similar. That's what it reminds me of. I feel like it's a play on that. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, prison of cool. elders. That's what it's called. Prison uh, of elders. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I just I think it needs more like operators, and it's, it's weird to have like reach characters in there. It just kind of breaks the immersion because <laughs> it's really just supposed to be like a gears undercover mission to escape, and then you get like Emil and Cat there, which is like really weird. And like, you definitely need people to play with that to communicate because otherwise, playing with randoms is just, like it's kind of lame. It's I mean, you, you can get the job done, I guess, but it's just yeah. Just we gotta run one. Hey, real quick sidebar. I seen why Nightwing was trending, and I tagged you guys in. It's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Did yeah, you see that? Yeah, I saw it. Just from the butt, <laughs> his, his butt. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was wow. like, why is Nightwing trending? I thought I thought it was like a movie thing or something, but I was like, oh, I guess that's what it is about. It's the internet. <laughs> All right, uh, next article, Microsoft will no longer report gaming revenue or Xbox Live monthly users and earnings reports. It will now only they report? report percentage of growth. It's a little... We'll it's a little, well, yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. It's, like, a little, it's, it's not a little like anybody had... <laughs> it's not like anybody had any idea what was going on anyway. Now we're going to yeah, get less. So it's, less. <laughs> it's, they're going to show growth? Well, hey, we're up. We're down. I don't know. <laughs> Like we'll, we'll see. I I really don't care as long as they produce a bunch of games. If they start closing studios, then we should worry. But uh, yeah, right now I think yeah. we're fine. Like it's it's whatever. If they keep buying studios. We'll uh we'll keep keep playing the games. I agree. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, uh you, you go ahead. You sound like you got a different opinion. So it's what you <laughs> no, it's just odd that it feels like they keep hiding the the vision in the books, like just to like not have it like go down <laughs> i don't know it just it feels really weird it doesn't seem like you would think they'll be happy to show numbers i mean they do have numbers you know for the game pass and all that but like it's um that because they previously talked about that um what do you call it that that type of uh information like the mau um, also active active users. Users. yeah they, they usually kind of shout from the rooftops you know what's going on with that but now that they, they've even like Slow down with that, with that, you know. So it's oh, yeah, that's what he just said. They're not even going to talk about those anymore, right? Yeah, so it's, it's a little worrying. It is. It's worrying, but I mean, again, Dustin said that they just bought a bunch of studios. As long as they keep making games, I really don't care what they tell us. So I don't. I don't get anything out of it. Do you get anything out of knowing no, how much the, numbers, the PS4 yeah. and the Switch sold? No, we get nothing out of it. Doesn't mean anything no. to me. No, not at all. It's just like it's information that it's it was more normal to have. Like it is, weekly. it is. But the industry's changing. I mean, it went from monthly active users. Well, it went from sales numbers to monthly active users to hey, we ain't telling you. You know, maybe maybe they're afraid of the, the, the some tax some tax implications there that they don't. You know, maybe that's something like that. It could be that maybe. Uh, they, they might be changing some rules around because I know a lot of stuff that they don't pay taxes on, you know, so I'm sure it's something to do with that at the end of the day, but uh, I don't think it's because they're ashamed of what the, the sales numbers are, you know. 
uh, I don't know. I, mean, I guess they're changing metrics, but it's, it's just. Uh, I mean, that's it, that's definitely part it, of it. Yeah. The, it, just the question is like, why? I'm like, I, don't, I feel like they're kind of trying to. I mean, I said it before, but it feels like they're trying to uh, make it so that the division looks like it's doing well in certain areas and like uh, not report like losses, so it won't like be you know, under, at, under at the fire. end of the day. Will if they're losing too much money. It's going to, they're going to have to cut somewhere and then we'll see it. You know, they can't just, they can't just suck at, at being a gaming company you know, right? <laughs> yeah, and then right. change what they tell us and still do and still make great games and all that stuff. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, something's going to happen and we'll not, they won't be able to deny it. They closed down three for three or a coalition or something like that. Or there's like a mass layoff at fucking turn 10. Then we'll, that's all we'll need to know. Well, yeah. I have all the information we need, but uh, these numbers ain't really going to tell us anything. So, yeah, because yeah. the new numbers, or how even with the like monthly active, like it's people always are trying to turn it into what's sales numbers versus Game Pass numbers, and what's yeah, you know, whatever. And it's like, look, that's their their models changing, so it's it's more about per, the the growth that they can get off of. Uh, off of you know just revenue off of game pass like it doesn't really matter if you have 30 million people playing sea of thieves right now as long as you're got a nice active supply it it, it's uh, if anything it would be like if netflix started saying hey daredevil had 50 million people and we're gonna keep this one going and like it's Hmm. we don't get those numbers from streaming companies and Hmm. It makes sense why, if they're looking at it as themselves as a like a streaming company, which they are moving to, uh, and it's all about monthly active subscribe. You know, it makes sense that they don't give these numbers for the same reason Hulu and everybody else doesn't give those numbers. And then now yeah, it's you're going to have people yeah. trying to compare it to Sony, which is doesn't have. I mean, honestly, they don't have a subscription like Game Pass. I mean, they have PlayStation now, oh, but uh, they yeah. do. They don't have. Like you, you're not seeing Gears Five level games on PlayStation now, day one. You know, it's yeah. So it's just it's totally different. And honestly, yeah. mm-hmm. for all the people bitching about how they're going, it's a dollar subscription. That's why they're showing thirty million active u- or whatever. You know, the number is. You won't even get that anymore. All you're going to be like, hey, fucking people are paying, <laughs> like gross up thirty percent, like. We're, we're happy we're gonna continue to making games for game pass like it it, it kind of makes more sense that way but it, it does give at the end of the yeah. day yeah it's all about how you looked at that prism what were you saying i'm sorry will go ahead no it's okay i it, it does give less ammo for that you know kind of fanboy uh you know argument about this numbers and stuff uh, but it, it, it's just definitely you won't know exactly what's going on with the division the way you are now. You, you have no idea if they're doing actually well or not until like, like I was saying with like, you know, if they lay off people and then you're like, oh, well, that kind of, that's really concerning. <clears throat> so, it, yeah, it's just going to be very hard to like nail down any kind of, uh, I guess, uh, progress or not progress, but like just see how the company's like the Xbox division is doing outside of maybe like, you know, the usual quarterly reports and stuff like that, <clears throat> which even that's like still murky at the best. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next topic because we brought up game pass. So from September the 19th through the next 10 days, it's like September 19th through 29th. For every game on Game Pass, if you get an achievement for it, that goes towards your Microsoft rewards. You'll get the same amount of points, up to 10,000 points in 10 days. For every gamer score point you you get, one one Microsoft reward point, complete this quest but between September 19th through 28th to earn up to 10,000 points. Yeah, that's what the details are. So if you got some achievements like on Minecraft or Blair Witch or any of these games on Game Pass, this is the time to go achievement hunting and then make some money on because ten thousand points I think is like what is it? Uh if you're level two I wanna say it's forty five hundred points for five bucks. So this is you know, you can make ten dollars in ten days just playing your games and getting achievements. Cool. I'll take yeah. free money. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, yeah, because it's five thousand points for five bucks. So yeah, it's yeah, it's ten bucks. It's ten x you know ten bucks for an Xbox Live game. It's definitely worth doing if you have the time to sit there and actually bang out some achievements. Yeah, definitely. It gives you the uh, <clears throat> discounts for like even on games that are on sale already. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting. It's just like a promotion, or it's just like a. It's just a promotion that Xbox is running yeah. for Game Pass. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Talking about I, other I'll good deals. Can, yeah. You can now play Anthem with EA Access Origin Access. It's now in the vault for subscribers. If you haven't tried Anthem, it, it's dead, guys. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't think many people are caring too much about that franchise anymore. I would love to see them not destroy it, but it's... I don't. I don't know. They need to bungee it and like really just put in a lot of extra work into it. Yeah, from his EA, that you know they're gonna like just yeah. drop it like a hot rock as soon as it like. You know, but I, I would bad. recommend it just to play a little bit of it, see if you like it. I mean, it's a, it's an okay game. It's. They just did a big patch for it with a bunch of new content, especially for the beginning to kind of flush it out. So. I would recommend trying it. You recommend it? I I mean, uh, if you have an EA Access or Origin Access, yes, I would download it. I got I got it, and I don't got it. I don't care about it. Sorry. Yeah. I just, uh, I want PvP. Yeah, uh, it's still I not a thing yet. I'm surprised they haven't done anything yet. No uh, PvP. That's weird. That should be a, that should be definitely be there by now. I haven't yeah, I haven't played in forever, so I, I do not want to speak. Let's do a Google search. Let's uh, have some search in the... That's our prime. Who's uh, our Who's our trying? Stuff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me? No, 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 no. no Into no, the me. Googles. Only got one <laughs> only got one monitor. I'm down to one monitor, so <laughs> But yeah. it's a super ultra wide monitor. That's what he's not telling you us. You wish it was. It's a little, uh... <laughs> it's a little four by three CRT right now. Four eighty I. That's right. Four eighty I. It's a baller ass monitor. Talking about games that I didn't care about that are coming to Xbox Game Pass. Jump Force is coming to Game Pass, guys. Oh shit! I yeah. care about that because I didn't spend my money and now I get to I play know. as Luffy. Yeah, I get to try it. It's Jump Force on Game Pass. Uh, it's honestly, I was excited about that one because I was like, man, I didn't want to buy that, but now. <laughs> I'll yeah, me too, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see how it plays. Like, cause I, I keep, I heard it was pretty bad at first, but now it has to be like pretty good by now. It has to be patched up and a lot of more characters and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I'm making. Yeah, but you know that's DLC, right? You had to buy that. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, who cares? That's probably good. So the, the main game's fucking up there. That's that's what matters. Yeah, Bloodstain is a big one too. Bloodstain Ritual of the Night, yes, an exploration focused side scroller action RPG. It's pretty cool. I I've already bought that one, so it wasn't as exciting as Jump Force. When I'm like, man, it's a game I'd never purchase by itself, but now, <laughs> now I can challenge Eric. Uh, I don't I don't see any PvP. Yeah. No, that's weird. So sad. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't buy into that game because like after the hype, <laughs> I feel better. It people looks so bought... cool, man. But I knew yeah. I just I had a feeling. Yeah, me too. Trash, not trash, but just not, not a Bioware game. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad people bought it because it's like I mean, if if you're enjoying it, that's cool. But I feel like you you guys should be getting more than what you received. Like it should be a lot more better than what it is, but. <laughs> Yeah, well, go back to the topic. Um, uh, Bad North is also coming to Game Pass. It's a I heard that was good. Real time tactics, roguelike. Yeah, that's another one I want to try out. That's pretty good. We're also yeah, getting Dirt Rally 2.0, Bad yep. Enhanced, and Lego Worlds. Be excited, sir. Be excited for Lego <laughs> Worlds. I feel uh, like there's like unlimited Lego games yeah. on Xbox. <laughs> it's like it never ends. But yeah, it's they got a it's it's a decent list of games coming to Game Pass this month. I'm actually stoked about that. 
Yeah, it's surprisingly good. You got a, a fighter, you got a side scroller, you got a indie game, you got a racer and a adventure. I think it's an adventure game, Lego yeah. Worlds. And if you're still so, interested in buying these games, is that after, Lego Worlds? Yeah, Lego mm-hmm. Worlds. Oh, okay. If you're still interested in these games and wanting to buy them, remember after the first two months of being on Game Pass, you get I think it's ten percent off or some. So yeah, it's a definitely you get a discount on them. So, so you can pick these up at a discount. Especially yeah, if release. You love that jump force, yeah. you know. You might uh you might just. <laughs> you might yeah, I really. Yeah, I really do want to try that out. See, it looks like almost like a Budokai mixed with like. Uh... I don't know, Unreal Engine graphics and a whole bunch of anime characters. I, I mean, it should definitely be up your alley, Dustin and stuff, because <laughs> that's like all your anime characters that you've watched over the years. Yeah. Is oh. is a, a One Punch Man there? Not sure. One, one, no, no, I don't think he's in it. That's weird. No, because he's not shown in, right? Uh, I don't believe so. Is that is that like the prerequ- the prerequisite for being in that game? I think most yeah, I think most of them are. Let me Google it. He might be in there, but he has his own game. Uh, yeah. How good can that game be? Yeah, about as good as Jump Force. I mean, I, I would imagine. <laughs> like I don't know. Like I don't I don't like the idea of a One Punch Man in a game. It it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's in there. I think he's in there. Oh, that'd be nice. How what about you... the other guy? Uh, uh, what's the? I think he's he creating site Tima and Jump Oh, just people making videos talking uh, about how he should. I don't think he's in there. How to uh, create Genos? Like, so I uh, guess you can make fighters, so you can technically build them. Oh yeah, well it looks like him. Yeah, I guess you always make him. Oh no, that's a created character. It's not really him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, talking about Delaware Smash. Nah, this is... T- yeah, it's not him. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Gears 5 breaks records on biggest launch for any Xbox Game Studios game this generation. It's... That's right, people. It's huge. People are buying those $2 for two month subscriptions all over the place. <laughs> Do y'all want to talk about the controversy over this, or do we not care? Yeah, I want to. Uh, can I mention that the yeah. fact that you can't? Not everyone can do that. Not everybody can do that. I've had the Game Pass for since it came out. Now a lot of people have had the Game Pass since it came out, and the first time I got it for a dollar, then I upgraded to Ultimate for two dollars. But I still, just because you upgrade to Ultimate for two dollars, does not mean you are not already paying for it. So, I think that logic is dumb. That you think everyone. And then people saying, well, well, uh, they had 3 million people playing. It was the number one game for one day. So everybody beat it, and now they're not playing it anymore. Like, oh, that don't even make sense. So so a, a bunch of people got it and played it for one day with their $1. That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it takes way longer than one day to beat that game and yeah. to get all of, everything out of the game. There's no way. I mean, spoiling the game a little bit. It took me 16 hours, and I did side quest. Yes, yeah. I think I'm. I think I've played about six, seven hours of the game, and I've, I'm only to the second act. So yeah. it can be long. Yeah, I heard somebody yeah, say they like played it in eight, like eight. I think it was the kind of funny guys. I'm like, oh, uh, you must have like skipped every side quest. <laughs> yeah, literally just beelined it through the game. But yeah, it's it's around sixteen. I could see it taking. 20 hours if you yeah, really were looking for every everything. collectible yeah uh, because like i i was hunting I w- i'll put it this way i was scouring every fucking environment and still only i got i would say about 90 percent of all the collectibles but only mm-hmm. about 50 percent of the components and jesus they're all over the place it is hard yeah. to find those well hidden i was kind of doing the same i was like kind of looking around i mean i wasn't doing like super hard searches but just kind of stuff that to make sense or like a little bit off the beaten path like then i'll find like oh nice so, you know there's a lot of them so i'm like wow i'm surprised how well hidden some of these might be but uh yeah i mean the, it's interesting that this is awesome like it's awesome but like at the same time kind of weird because 
it, it brought a lot of subscriptions up like for game pass uh, actually you know might have <laughs> brought down xbox live on that friday but uh at the same time we, like it, we heard like the physical sales are pretty weak um and but we don't even know what the digital sales are though so i mean we just know about the uk the physical but i don't think they've had any info on like um how well it's doing digitally like outside of game pass so that's good right on time they're not gonna tell us yeah i mean I'm, i would expect them not to tell us you know <laughs> but you know they probably just came out in america yeah yeah sold like 600 something thousand copies in the first in the first uh npd yeah without digital yeah it's not too, that's not too bad it's pretty decent yeah so gears 4 did over six hundred thousand the first week, or the first MPD. I don't know how many weeks. I think it was only in that. When did it, Gears Four come out? Anybody know? Twenty sixteen, I believe. Like what? What day of the month? Do you remember? Um, maybe Tuesday or Friday. I'm not sure at the. But uh, yeah, it's just weird because like the Game Pass numbers are impressive, but it sends a bit of a mixed signal of like how exactly the game is doing, like outside of Game Pass. So like, one just hopes that it's doing well because it's gears. So I'm sure it's doing well, like in Mexico and all well, the other okay. places. It's gonna be like, well, in every region. I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah. Like, it's a giant game. It's a giant triple A yeah. game. It, it's doing. You know, I figure it's doing well everywhere. But of course, Game Pass. Like, I people are like, oh man, Game Pass is neutering its cells. It's like, yeah, it's gonna happen a little bit. Like, it's a uh, when you can play the. I'll put it this way. I have not told anybody to buy this game. I have gotten everybody to get Game Pass Ultimate to play this game. <laughs> Including myself. Like, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you, though? Like, it's my yeah, cousin has but... an Xbox Live subscription. Dude, upgrade for a dollar, place Gears for the next year. And that's all he does. He pl- That's his one game he ever plays is Gears. Gears 4. And now Gears 5. And he pays for Xbox Live. Why would I tell him to buy it? I mean, mm. there's. it's just a better proposition for everybody like and they're, they're still selling copies but i mean i'm not gonna go out like i'm not gonna tell anybody to buy gears i'm gonna get them to mm-hmm. get game pass for a month and you know what like you said will like you were taught about how you picked up your copy of uh you know well you're playing gears but you're gonna you know you probably wait two months and get it on sale and buy it officially because you, you feel yeah. weird playing it as a game pass game and not a like something you own which i get exactly but you know and that's how i'm gonna end up rocking it out i'll I'll, uh i'll I'll eventually buy it honestly because i I love the game that much sure it'll it'll rack up achievements like it'll it'll add a whole ton of achievements that you'll never be able to get (laughs) like it before but at the same time it's you know it's one of those things where I know that's not going out of Game Pass. I know I can get it, and I'll buy the Ultimate Edition, and I'll buy it on sale, like, Mm -hmm. eventually. But right now I have three years of Game Pass Ultimate, so I'm not, like, exactly going to be missing out this game during its life of the game. More than likely, Year 6 will be out by the time my Game Pass Ultimate goes up, you know? Yeah, what's interesting is that Microsoft pretty much, like, set it up this way so that people would want to play through game pass and it's weird they didn't really sell it on like just buying it like a digital game or even like physical they just it straightly you know mark marketed it through yeah the game let's pass talk about from... that marketing real quick people were bitching about that how much have you seen this game all over the place it's everywhere it's yeah. in movie theaters and everything now great. they did a really good job i think they waited a little bit too long yeah but... like i i <sighs> I'm glad they didn't spoil single player with a ton of like trailers or anything. I feel like because I show feel so like much it, more, though. They, I don't know. Like I as a person that hasn't beat the game, I don't want to like it's it's like you could easily spoil Gears Five in a lot of ways. I'm glad they didn't spoil it. Like I'm glad there were. I, I, yeah. I'll put it this way: the music part, the beginning of the game, like that could have easily been spoiled. Like so easily and that's all i'm gonna say about that will <laughs> you know what i'm talking about right the music part at the end of the game the beginning of the game 
beginning again. The music part. Mm. Yeah, when you're in the hat and the lights come down, and ugh, it's like I don't want to get too far into it. It's a big spoiler. It's really cool. It has a, a unique take. I right, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I'm trying. We'll I'm trying to remember. But yeah, yeah, it, it's definitely good that if they I described it. it to you, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. I just don't want to ruin it for people. Do you? Do you? Do you think that they could at least? showed the fact that this game had some open world elements and like go I think I mean, they did. we didn't, didn't know they it had RPG. The they, they... when during their first fucking trailer the very first time they showed the game they showed them uh, getting on the skiff like going oh, that's right yeah they did the kind of show that but it was like uh, what two seconds of it like i said like it's easy to yeah, spoil it I remember. And, I mean, kind of the big, like, spoiler to it, like, kind of the big moment in it is this is the first Gears game that has those Halo elements to it where, like, you walk out of this room and then you just, it's like, oh, fuck, this is a giant area. Like, this isn't, like, just a big Gears corridor. This is a giant fucking area. Like, this, there, there's places I can go. There's different ways I can attack these things. Like, it, it's totally different than, uh, what I was expecting, like Act Three, has so so like so many like awesome set pieces that are really really big, like that are shockingly big, that are do not feel like a Gears game. Like I'm trying not to spoil this; it sucks, but uh, well, I mean, hard to explain. I played a lot of games, Dustin, and I don't ever really feel like it's not like watching a Fast and the Furious trailer whenever they show stuff in games so i feel like they could have got away with showing they could have made this game look more appealing in before it came out that's all i'm saying and after playing it i'm i'm like why didn't we know this why why didn't we know these things i, I found i found myself saying that the whole like as soon as i got to like the ice the ice part or whatever when it's snowy i'm like jesus like this looks so cool this looks so good don't you remember when you see Gears Four and it shows like the that show do you like the the red the red like a uh, thunderstorm or whatever? They show that level, how yeah. cool that was. Oh my! There's so, there's parts in this game that I blow think, that out the yeah. water. No, for sure. Yeah. And not to say that I, I wanted them to spoil that, but to not even give you like an idea of how how much they evolved on it is just it was weird. It's weird. To me. Weird, but at the same time, me. when you experience that, like for the first time, you're like, wow, this is like, this is, I'll put it this way. Gears 4 felt like uh, the handing of the baton. Gears 5 is them just running away with the Gears franchise. Like they fucking knocked it out of the park. Like this thing is. Yeah. It's without, a, it's, it's at least in the, without a, like, it's a game. Do you feel like, do you feel like that? Uh, I've seen some people saying this on Twitter that they thought that. Uh, the studio was being held back by the IP that they could do something way better with their own stuff, and the fact that they're they're making the gears that even though they changed a lot and they're trying to keep some stuff the same or whatever, that they, if they just made a new IP that it would be so much better because they could do whatever they want and they wouldn't have to worry about what people thought if they changed certain things. What do you think about that? I mean, I think they would do great at whatever they wanted to do. I believe they're working on two games right now, Gears and something else. So I don't think it's going to be an issue for them. But at the same time, like, I'm glad to see Kate getting her due. Like, this is a female character that's the main protagonist that, honestly, she was built up correctly. It's not just like, hey, we got to make a, a woman as the main character. It's like, no, she w she's been built up for multiple games and like we're this it, it just feels right and without spoiling and i keep i hate keep saying that but without spoiling anything like they do her justice like they they make her this awesome character and but she's been built up for multiple you know games and i think they can they were the right team to give her her due i mean you could have tried to give somebody else the gears franchise but honestly rod knows what he's doing with gears like and this game yeah. proves that. Like he is the one that I want to see making Gear Six. Like, I agree. He this this game is fantastic. It probably is my game of the year this year. Like it's. I don't. I think this is a pretty good year for 
Xbox to at least be talked about for. Yeah. I mean, there. I don't think there's a standout game this year that I played. Yeah, I mean, Gears kind of blows a lot of has blown a lot of people away with what they were able to accomplish. Let's just look at a. Uh, Uh, highest rated games this year. Do, 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 do. I'm waiting for uh, the researcher to Google that. Talk some monster stuff, sir. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to move on while you look that up. Minecraft has been quietly dominating for over 10 years and now has 112 million active monthly players. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Reports Business Insider. Like this, it's just, I mean. We've talked about them loot boxes. 112 million reasons right there why uh, <laughs> loot boxes ain't going nowhere. They're, they're, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think it surpassed Tetris, right? As far as like the like the most most like, sold of all time. Sold, yeah. yeah, it's the That's number crazy. one selling game ever. Uh, but active users, I think Ro- 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 Roblox is. Uh, I think they're up there with Minecraft. I don't know how. That's like a that was such a dark horse game. That nobody expected it to be like <laughs> almost Minecraft level. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. But it's not even a good is, game. It's just yeah. it's a terrible asset production. <laughs> yeah. But it's free, so you know you can yeah. play with a lot more, and you can build. Well, essentially, Roblox is all about building different types of games. Like, yeah, Minecraft is just I, I don't. It's just a cultural phenomenon. Like it's. It's it is Lego. I mean, that's all it is. At the end of the day, it's insane. And the all fact right. that they have 112 million active players monthly—that's right. an astronomical number. Are y'all ready to hear this? Yes. Do it. I right. do. D- Divinity. I can't even say it. Divinity, or however you say it, is this the highest rated game this this year? Ninety four. Divinity. Original, yeah, set? but it's the it's the Switch version, so it's really a re-release. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, uh, the highest rated new game, which is really a remake too, is Resident Evil Two. Shakiro uh, is next up. Final Fantasy Seven Shadowbringers. I don't know what the hell it is, but that's a high high rated game. It's a ninety one. Uh. So Tetris game on there, which that ain't winning. Tetris Effect, Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, which That's is DLC. Is, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it's a DLC, so I don't think that counts. Uh, let's see. Apex Legends came out this year. It's eighty nine. Uh, Devil May Cry is eighty eight. And uh, Ash. Astral Chain. Yeah, I know people are loving Astral Chain. But, I mean, for me, like, I don't think most of those games hold a candle to something like Gears. <laughs> Just in, like, what that game offers between multiplayer, single player, or the whole, like, it's, it's a jam packed game. Yeah, I think I'm on those. I think Gears fares pretty well. Like, it's not like a. I like control. Control, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a like a blowout or anything, because like I mean, the games are well rated, but not. I didn't see anything in like the crazy high nineties besides like what was uh, like you said, uh, Divinity, which was like a re-release. So I doubt that like, it's even nominated as of this year because it's already like a release. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't see it definitely being nominated for like Game of the Year or uh, you know, different awards, mm-hmm. especially technically. You know, I know they has some bugs, but. <laughs> It does do a lot of stuff impressive, like impressive stuff technically, like like the cutscene transitions and the graphics, like best graphics maybe, maybe best sound, because the soundtrack is really good too. So yeah, I could definitely hang in there with the other titles this year. Yeah. Do y'all have any other uh, news y'all want to cover before we just move on to what you've been playing or to the anime corner, if you will? <laughs> no, I don't really have much to be honest with you. You have all the good topics already, so plus I'm beating a uh, quesadilla at the moment. So, <laughs> okay. well, we'll do anime real quick. I watched, dude. I finally finished Black Clover. I'm, I'm done, Steph. I got I caught up. 
seen everything up to the latest episode. And I usually bitch about how animes need to like slow down and take their time. And that's what, exactly what this anime does. I just wish the writing was better. Like it, it, the dialogue's fine, but it's not great. Like it, it's not up there with One Piece. But it takes its time, like One Piece. Have you watched any of Black Clover, Steph? Will? Just bump. No, I haven't seen it yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would recommend it. I don't think it's writing-wise. I don't think it's on par with. Uh, other animes like I, I think it's it's okay like i said for the dialogue but other than that i, I am don't enjoying it um astra uh is getting better and better i need to i know another episode came on today i haven't watched it yet but i am enjoying that it's the one that's kind of like lost in space beats but they're not continuous i don't know it's hard to explain it without spoiling it uh, but i would recommend that anime as well and then i've been enjoying um what is the other one? Um, Dr. Stone. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, and that's been getting really good as well. Like this. Still good? You liking it? Yep, I'm enjoying it. Uh, they kind of moved on to like the Science Nation like build it being a thing. Well, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have to do like a spoiler cast or something for... Uh, Dr. Stone, after everybody gets a chance to check it out and watch it. Uh, or at least let the season finish and watch, give a full season review or something, maybe. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, we'll have to do something like that. All right. Uh, uh, I'll, that's I'll that's the only anime it. I've been watching. You've been watching anything? Demon Slayer, too. Yeah, Slowly I haven't seen the late, latest episode. How, did you I'm watch not, it? I'm not that, no, I'm not that caught oh, up, no. But it's still good. I'm like on episode nine, ten. Yeah, it's good. Uh, also been watching. You know, I've been watching old shit. Let me just be honest. So, <laughs> old stuff. I haven't really found anything new. I tried. I started Black Clover, and I just it didn't grab me at first. Uh, I want to say I tried something else. I think I went back to uh, the slave girl and the guy. Forgot what the hell that's called. Uh, shield, shield hero or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah, the shield hero. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went back to that, but I still can't get over the slave thing. It's, I don't know. It's just so, yeah, it's a weird take. Yeah, like to just... try to justify slavery, like it's. I do it so that you're free, but you're not a slave, but you're you're totally a slave. Like you have to do what I say, but I did it to free you. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's more, yeah. It, it be, I don't want to call it a harem show, but it, it, it's... It kind of... It's a harem show. I'm going to just check out my list here and see if there's anything on this end. I'm trying to think of any other anime that I watched. Um... Nah, I th I, yeah, I think that's it for me. I didn't. I, I've been like. A did you, lot did you uh, watch any new so. One Piece? No, I didn't watch that this week. I gotta watch oh, that. Okay. Uh, I know I did. And I also. I, I honestly, with One Piece, I've been waiting a couple weeks and then kind of binging through a couple episodes at a time instead of doing it one week at a time. Uh, mm -hmm. I did watch the episode two of Titans, and I really enjoyed that. They, they're kind of setting up the Teen Titans and fucking. Uh, no matter what, uh, like Deathstroke is just awesome, and they're setting him up to go after the Titans. So I'm ready to see that uh, play out. Oh, uh, really? I, I don't have it yet, so kind of want to get it. Kind of want to get it. And then I mean, I'm not sure when Doom Patrol's dropping, but that's also going to be like I, I'm excited for all the DC content coming. Is it worth it? Wait, wait, it's going to be on HBO Max, right? Yes, everything will be so, on HBO so, Max. Okay, so if I got HBO already, how does that work? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I don't think they've announced how they're going to upgrade HBO Max yet. But that's you're get, oh, okay. you'll get all of the DC stuff. You'll get everything with HBO Max. Because right now so I got that, that 
the, the DC subscription to watch it, but yeah. yeah, I still I still don't understand why WB doesn't have their own app with that in, included. Like it's mm -hmm. it's just weird. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they they're just not very good at at that. That's what I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. All right. Let's move uh, on. I got. To... I got. Oh, you got, uh, you got, you got something else? I was going to no, talk about something more anime thing. Uh, looks like uh, the Boondocks is going to uh, HBO Max too. If you yeah, ever guys ever watched that seasons. show, yeah, yeah, it says, uh, it's returning with two reimagined seasons. Yeah, it's twenty four episodes, is what they said. So that what, is, be... what is what does that mean? That does that mean that's the same stuff? Uh, I have no idea. We'll find out. We will find out, sir. I mean, it's a hilarious show. I can already see people protesting it. Honestly, um, this cause... is kind of like the wrong time and the right time at the same time for it. Yeah. You know, like I so mean... much content that you can make out of it, but people are so like, uh, their skin so thin, you know. Yeah, so they'll be I mean, offended. Dave Chappelle's comedy. Did we Netflix. talk about that on the podcast? I don't think we have, but it like that pissed off. Have, a we, lot have you watched of people. it? Yeah, it's hilarious. Did you watch it, Will? No, not yet. I do want to see it. I just have to put I've that. I've watched in it too. three times. It's great. You should watch it. It's the best. It's probably but if you have thin skin. It was like he holds no punches. <laughs> so not hear. at all. It is very. I don't cold. even think it's that bad. Like I don't. I mean, I mean, what... compared to, to like what people expect out of comedy today, which I mean, it's 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 up there as one of the most vulgar. In I some think ways. Lisa Lampanelli's stand ups way more like. Yeah. No, I I, I would agree, but like it's it's fun. It's it's nice to see comedians actually attacking politically correct culture again, where it's just like, look, we're not, you know, fuck it, let's not hold. Pun I mean, the the stand up special is called Sticks and Stones, like you know, yeah, it's meant specifically to go after like this whole, oh, comedians need to be careful what they say. It's like no, let's comedians need to push comedy and make us feel uncomfortable. That's the whole. Point. I feel like he yeah. does a great job at not just addressing stuff. But he ha the dialogue that he has with his audience is so it's oh, it's 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 he's a genius he's great at that yeah I don't under, I don't know how he does it but he does a good job at it man uh, and it's funny it, the the what like uh, like his old stuff I feel like he has something to say and everything but now like ever since he was on Saturday Night Live and he had like that really long message or whatever about you know president or whatever you vote for it doesn't matter to me I don't care about this shit but. The, I don't know. Ever since that that election, man, he just he's just really like pressed the well, issue like, on a lot of stuff. On, if you don't know on SNL, he pretty his message was pretty much let, let's give him a chance to see how this is going to work out. Like, yeah, like there's no let's we have to all get along. And of yeah. course, there was a giant you know thing of blowback because it was you know it was Trump that he was talking about. So it just turned into this oh no, and it's like dude, was there a blowback? There was blowback. Yeah. So it's just one of those, like, you know, no matter who becomes president, let's all, especially with the election coming up, let's try to be civil and uh, yeah. wish whoever wins the best of, you know, best of luck. Because nobody wants to see the country do bad. Like, we all want to see it improve and move forward. I think so. that's the biggest problem with this kind of stuff is, like, when you the other person that you didn't vote for or whatever wins, you, you, would, ra you would rather see the country burned to the ground just to say that you were right. And yeah. I think that's our biggest problem as a, as a country. We need to yeah. get out of that. We need, we need to, to all win together, it. even if yeah. it's the person that we, that we want it to be leading the man. That, that's the biggest problem. Yeah. Anyway, off the politics shit, let's get away yep. from this. Let's get Real away. Fast. But like I said, be civil. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what have you all been playing other than Gears? Because I guess we could talk about that last. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real or, quick, I've been I've playing. Been, I've been... Do you all oh, really want to deep dive into Gears or not? Because it's so new and spoilery. Uh, like... Nah, not yet, no. Let's, okay. uh, so, I haven't beat it yet for that reason. I mean, I haven't beat it yet, so I don't, I don't want I, to. I guess I'll put it this way. I really loved Gears, and I guess that's all I'm going to really say because I don't want to get into the spoilery stuff. Like, we'll do... 
maybe next week after you beat it we'll do like after the end of the show yeah, i have it done spoiler. i have it done by then yeah well we'll do a spoiler show next week about gears 5 but i loved it i've already been kind of talking about it all all week i take it everybody kind of feels the same yeah I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah i like it so far story I, and then you know what this which is weird for me is is with with every gears i've had well except for three uh, I've played the multiplayer first. Like two, I, I did play the story, but I, I went straight to the multiplayer. Three, I went well because of the way two ended, I wanted to see what happened in three or whatever. Four, I went straight to the multiplayer, but eventually I got the story. This one, I went to the story, and I've probably played maybe forty-five minutes of multiplayer. Okay. I've been playing. I mean, I haven't really been able to play the game that much, so. I mean, I, if I do play, I should probably just turn on Apex and maybe play like two or three matches, and that's that's mm-hmm. really it. But uh, anyway, man, it's a good game. That's all I'll say. And uh, the real thing I've really been playing is the NFL, and I want to say quarterbacks just dropping like flies, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Better and your team, teams. sir, your team, sir, is uh, is uh, I'm no, I'm not. I'm just saying, I, I just, you never know what's going to happen. I'm not saying I want people to get hurt. I just, yeah. it's crazy how things are shaking up. Like, like oh, yeah, a quarterback a... getting mono, like yeah. what, <laughs> what the hell? Like, when does that ever happen? But, uh, Court, yeah. One quarter, uh, yeah. Patrick Mahomes, man, that dude's a monster. Yeah, yeah, your yeah, team's looking pretty good, man. Man's a monster. And apparently they're t- they might get Jalen Ramsey. Like, yeah. Uh, that would be crazy if they did that. I mean, that would y'all would be able to beat the Patriots easy because he'd be able to neutralize at least one in one of one of their best players. So that'd be that'd be pretty great. Anyway, I'll let you go ahead. Go, Will. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So yeah, I beat Gears. So I'm with Dustin. It was a great game. Definitely um, recommend beating that and uh, trying it out. It's uh, a lot of fun. Has its issues with the bugs, but it's getting better every every week. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was playing some escape, which was fun. I would, usually with randoms because it's, it's actually a bit hard to find people online with playing escape that I really legit want to play with. <laughs> I mean, I'd be done. Oh, with you, you, guys. Mean, you mean with like with <laughs> people that you know? You mean? Yeah, you... yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Like, like, I, like I'll see you guys on, but some, I guess you guys are playing different things. But if you guys want to play some escape, I'm down for it. I do want no, to play. I'm uh, totally down. Some uh, I will say, uh, I ain't beat the story yet. So a if weird I play, thing I play. About it is, uh, the arcade mode for multiplayer. You can only play with three people. Mm. Uh, yeah, That's you weird. can't do a full squad of five. I tried. I tried to, and we had a group of. So five. you just get two randoms. Yeah, you always get two. No randoms. matter what. Yep. That's strange. That's a strange decision. Yeah, I, I did. I, I yeah, because we were. T- if we ended up just playing, you know, ranked, but get, but it, it, yeah, like in arcade, you do not. You're not allowed to have. Well, I should say I don't know about five. You're not allowed to have four people for sure. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I just needed a fifth person. I don't know, but apparently, yeah, it's three is the maximum because that's what it said. It said three people max. So that's weird. Maybe it's just a glitch. Yeah. I also I think matchmaking is uh, foot by default against PC. I think crossplay. So if you do want to toggle that off, you have to go to the menu and toggle it off. It's not automatically off in case you guys are concerned about PC players or whatever. No, I don't care. <laughs> Speaking of PC players, what do you think of Dr. Disrespect trash in the game? And then, like, I don't know, a few days later, later, he's like, I love this game. He's been going hard on it ever since then. Yeah, it's, it's a funny turnaround. Yeah. I'm glad they likes it, though. Yeah, yeah I'm glad he's... Uh, Seen the light. <laughs> well, well, that goes against the whole ninjas getting paid to play. I mean, he did play the story first, but he ain't out yeah. there streaming the damn multiplayer like Doctor Disrespect is. Yeah, he's oh, actually doing know. more than ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Oh no, but like, I'm sorry, I don't think Ninja got paid to play Gears. But at the same time, hey, Steph, you're a new stream or you're a streamer. Do you want to play the game before anybody else on a live stream? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I do. It'll fucking increase my traffic. Well, I mean, yeah, like, that's, that's true. Well, he, what he I'm saying more is... more than 
No, no, I'm just saying he streamed before anybody else was allowed to. Like, he, he got... Yeah. So I, I don't think he was paid. It's just one of those, hey... Well, well I, I don't mean play. literally they gave him money, but I mean that they he signed this deal with Mixer, and then... Oh, no, the yeah, first, surely. The he first was, huge exclusive from Microsoft, he gets it before anyone else. Yeah. But, you know, because it's, it's a win-win for Microsoft. They don't... Because they don't have to pay it's him. Not a, they know he's going to yeah. play it. Yeah. And they know that they're going to boost up Mixer subscriptions by going, hey, if you want to watch Ninja play Gears 5, fucking there it is. And let's be honest, Ninja's on the front of every Xbox dashboard. He's been there since he started. Like, he is, yeah. they are pushing his channel like a motherfucker to get people to watch. He, He's he's uh, definitely not doing any, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. And he's not doing anything wrong. I'm just saying that he... It was just perfect timing, and um, and then Doctor Disrespect comes out of nowhere. He's talking shit, or you know, he does do, do the thing he do, slobbering all over the place, saying the game's trash, uninstalling it, yada yada yada, you know. And then look at him. I, I, I seen him, I seen him, uh, a clip of him uh, going one v four against the team, and he, you know, squad wipes or whatever you want to call it. And I think that's the happiest I've seen him killing somebody in a game in a long time. <laughs> you don't think it's all part of the plan, that Jokerish plan, you know, where he has a mastermind. Well, he did. <laughs> he did say that he would sign with Mixer if if it was this this amount of money or whatever. And well, well just as far still- as like, yeah, just like um, like him not liking it and then liking it again. I think it seems like it's a uh, it's a put on or something. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't think that. I mean, because he's real wishy washy with the games that he plays. Because hell, why he was uh. Si- talking shit about gears he's playing PUBG and he shit on that game forever and when he came back and he was trash or whatever he had been playing so much uh uh fall uh fallout fortnite and uh what's the other game that he played i don't even know what the other game was he didn't even like apex legends he said apex legend was trash yeah Which i don't well, i don't well he also well, I don't had care. a huge rant about how he'd never play gears and gears is garbage and now he's playing gears like it's just like whatever i don't care uh, it takes skill. Once you figure out the skill, then you know it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. you become a you become a gears god. Yep. <laughs> so, anybody play anything other than gears? Anything other than gears? I have not. I'm gonna be honest. Gears has been my. Uh, no, nah, not game. really. Just just Apex Legends. I mean, I'm not and not even enough to even talk about. Honestly, I just <laughs> I, I didn't have enough time to play, like get into the story. So I had like 15 minutes. And I played like three matches. That was it. Uh, but I will say, uh, Call of Duty's coming out. Are you guys interested in that? Uh, not really. It's not Call of Duty. I'll buy when it's usually on sale, and that's kind of the end of it. I'll play the campaign. You're gonna try, check out the the beta that's coming. You're gonna have an open beta pretty soon. Uh, not really. I'm not really like into really? the multiplayer. Yeah, like I'm not. You should the, try it. Uh, it's way yeah. different. It's you. It's way different than what you think. The gameplay is not even going to be anything close to any of the in, to any of the other Call of Duties because there's a brand new engine. It reminds me of a mix between Rainbow Six, the new Rainbow Six. I was about to say, is it Siege? Is that the mm-hmm. newest one? It yeah. reminds me of a mix between that and Call of Duty because it's not arcadey anymore at all. It's not. It's not even arcadey yeah, at last, all. Yeah, well, the last multiplayer game that I actually liked. For Call of Duty was actually um, Call of Duty Black Ops Three, I think it was like the ones where you like playing like a souped up cyborg guy or whatever. I uh, I don't like any of the. I didn't like any of them. Mm. Uh, honestly, to me, the last good one was the Mon- Modern Warfare Three. I didn't like Black Ops Two, Three, none of that shit. I hated those mm. games. I hated them. <clears throat> yeah. Ghost was okay. I like the story in Ghost, but people hated it. And then I was like, man, this is a good, this is good. I like the dog. I know people were shitting on the dog. And then they do this whole uh, video where they like uh, did the exact same footage from another Call of Duty game or some shit like that. And they said that they just, the campaign was pre-made. I don't know. It was a whole thing. But I don't know if you guys remember that. That was a whole, yeah. was a whole thing. That was a whole thing. And I was like, this game was good. Uh, Surprise! Never came out with like a 4K version of. I'm sure that'll be maybe next gen or something of like Ghost because like that never really got an update. It was just like because it was early on in the gen. That game but, got shitted on so bad though. Yeah. You know, so it's that's all because of the probably because of the Xbox conference, right? No, no, just the game in itself. The people yeah. said it was bad. 
They said the game was bad. Remember there? I mean, the the conference, yeah, but the game itself, they said was bad. Besides the conference, yeah, they're making they were fun like, of the dog. Yeah. Like the dog. The, like how can dogs dogs and games and they're like the coolest thing? Yeah. You're fine. The dogs and games like the greatest thing. Mm-hmm. But then, but that's weird. Like people love. Uh, Blair Witch because of the dog. Um, Fallout <laughs> yeah. Four, the dog. People love that. What was it? Was another game with a dog in it that I'm just I can't mm-hmm. remember right now. There's something else. Game. So Fallout, so fall right? Really, really. Yeah, Fallout, mm-hmm. uh, Blair Witch, and there's one uh, that's less recent, but in, more in between Fallout and Blair Witch. I can't think of it. Oh, uh, fa- uh, f- uh, Far Cry, the new Far Cry. You get the dog. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And there's something else too. But yeah, the Call of Duty with the dog. I just uh nah. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah, I guess I mean I thought it was, people were like lukewarm on it. I think people they, they kinda liked it, but it was like a little bit more of the same. I, I guess, man. I thought the different. story was cool. The way it ended. Did you beat it? No, I never got to play it. I mean I heard it was good though. I I do want to play it, but still so behind with a lot of games, so I get to it eventually at some point in my life. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, besides Gears, um, I'm playing you know my usual PUBG stuff, uh, doing my daily stuff. Um, uh, just a little dabbling here and there. I, I bought two games that were on sale. Um, one is called Hive Jump, which is like a multiplayer, uh, like bug shooting, uh, side scroller. Another one is a uh, Lost Orbit Terminal Velocity, where you play like. <laughs> A space guy, like, that lost in space, and you have to, like, boost and get your way out of space. Like, you know, so it's it's a weird little game, but it's fun. Well, so that, a little bit of, actually, Gears 2. Gears of War 2, I was playing the X-Enhanced version, which is, still looks really good. Still handles really well. You know, I was breaking up them, them chunks, <laughs> like that video, from the side with the, with the gun. Yeah, I look a little bit of Arkham Knight, but you know, I play my games, you know, all out of order and in a weird way. I don't so. know how the hell you do that shit. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you. Like I, I really played, don't. and uh, like I played Asylum and I played uh, City, but I don't, I don't really get too far with those. I mean, maybe Asylum, but then I played an Arkham Knight. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 weird, man. It's weird. I guess it's because I want to just experience so many games that I don't want to be, you know, regretful when I. I die. <laughs> yeah, man, I never played that game. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. Look, I, I, I gotta. If I play one game, I feel like, I, and it's a story, and I gotta, and it's good. I gotta beat it. Like, I probably won't play another story game until after I beat, uh, beat, beat Gears. But the games that I have played, story wise. And I haven't finished them because I just didn't care that much about the story. Like people said, Far Cry Five was just so great, and I finally get it, you know, and I play it or whatever, and it's just uh, it's good. But that you have to do some like it's kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft, like yeah. whatever. Like they have those weird, those weird missions you have to do, like blow up five of this and five of this, to progress the story. I think it's that's dumb, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be. You know, games when I'm like really focused on like like gears, it has to be like really like draw me in, like gears or a Halo or some of like that. Like those games are really like I'll, I'll definitely power through them and, and beat them. But certain games like Assassin's Creed, they, they take forever. Those like always like have me stalling to beat them because they become a little uh, they a little they become very like tedious and stuff like that if you're not doing like story missions so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is there any other uh, game show I've been playing? Mm, no. No. Yeah. No. Well, I think we're going to bring the show to a close then. I appreciate everybody for tuning in this week. Please write us in at letters at xboxuncut.com. Uh, as you've noticed, we've been streaming on Mixer exclusively and we'll be uploading. We upload the show right after on YouTube. Uh, uh, the reason I'm not streaming to Twitch has nothing to do with the controversies around Twitch. It's just I don't, like, I've had issues with the restream, and if I had to choose a platform, I prefer Mixer over Twitch, to be honest. That's all. Uh, and it allows people on their Xbox to kind of, well, I mean, I know Twitch is on Xbox, too. I don't need letters about that. But 
I don't know. I just prefer the platform. So here's your stream too. You get more settings. And you get the, the FTL chat, so it makes it really easy to chat with y'all while you're during the show. I saw Prophecy was in uh, the watching the show for a bit and stuff like that. It's cool to have, you know, people jump in with us. So oh, nice. So yeah. props. But please, you know, subscribe, hit that bell icon, you know. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> but we will be back yeah, if I could say it this week. We will be back next week. Probably about 9 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, maybe sooner, you know. But uh, we yeah. will we will see y'all later. Later, guys. Peace.